I have a burning inner sense that my badass inner creative life has something in store for me if I can just figure out how to get that out there and start living the thing the way I want to, right? But how can I do that? Is it possible? Is there a process? Is there a guaranteed method? Yeah, there is. What I know how to do, what I've been teaching for a long time. Furthermore, I don't want to necessarily fit in and just remain comfortable and cozy in the niches that I've always been in, but how can I say what I truly mean and how can I get out of my own way? and court that inner creative artist and tease that inner creative artist out to the fore, to the surface. Is there a way for that? Do I have what it takes? If you're seeing this video, most likely you've already been vetted by me or one of my accomplices and you are ready. Here's another question you might be interested in. What happens if it doesn't work? Well, I don't guarantee that it works. But after 33 years teaching people how to do this, how to court your creative badass life, and tease it out of you, I can say this, I am not interested in wasting your time, and I am definitely not interested in wasting my time. I really only want to work with people who are ready to do this, 100%. Like my sensei, my judo teacher when I was young, he said, if you give me 100%, I'll give you 150. Now we all know that there's no more than 100%, but the sentiment is there. He cared more about our success if we were all in than even we did. And I was fortunate when I was little to be able to meet this brilliant teacher who ran one of the five best judo dojos in the United States, and many of us became national judo champions, me included. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I do what I do, why it is so incredibly valuable and important and essential to me to teach people what I've been teaching for such a long time, how to, one, get out of your own fucking way, and how to, two, say what you fucking mean. I was the third shortest kid in school when I was little. First shortest back then, we called them midgets and dwarfs, okay? First shortest was a midget, second was a dwarf, and then there was little Paul. I was the shortest normal proportioned kid and I was picked on by bullies because no self-respecting bully is going to pick on a midget or a dwarf when they can go right to me. I had to learn to defend myself. I found this judo dojo and I was lucky enough to find this teacher, Walter Shumway, who was brilliant at what he did. He brought all of the years of training and research and interest and his passion and he trained us to become judo champions. He recommended that if we wanted to truly be artists on the mat, we had to learn fluidity and we should take dance class. I took him up on that. I was shy because I was small and picked on and I found that I was capable of meeting girls in dance class, which was a wonderful added bonus, and I had the ability to see movement and imitate it quickly. This led me to getting some theater roles, choreography, dancing stuff, and that led me into inadvertently a world of performing which I made my living at for a very long time. This was a way for me to 
transform myself. But because I was an entrepreneur and I was capable of selling what I had created with my friends, it turned into a full-time international touring business from the time I was 24. When you show up at places and perform, they ask you to teach people. They ask you to be a guest artist and teach master classes and workshops. I don't really care about teaching people how to dance because you can learn that from lots of people. So what I ended up teaching was all the liminal stuff, all the things that fall through the cracks of conventional training. That led me to this interesting way of formulating your messages. How do you create important messages from scratch? How do you invent ways to get out of your own way and be creative, not just with what you already know, but with what is out there as a possibility to articulate your inner creative badass? This is something I've been teaching for the past 33 years to people all over the world in various walks of life. It started out with artists, dancers, theaters, people, and it ended up morphing into teaching communities of people, teaching young kids, and teaching uh, business folks and higher education people. So I taught at universities, I taught professors, I taught uh, inner creative badass workshops to the entire uh, set of the deans of the university system of the state of New York very fun to work with these people who are treated with kid gloves all the time and get them really moving and really trusting each other. Collaboration, two-way dialogue, what it means to get out of your own way, how do you articulate what you really want to say, and how do you go on that journey into the weird esoteric levels and then come out the other side with something brand new that not only surprises you, but it unlocks and unleashes things that you want to say the way you want to say it that can really influence people. I've performed on stages and TV shows around the world to an estimated uh, worldwide audience of over 1.5 billion people, and I've been doing that since I was young. And I've been teaching people how to do that for these past three decades. I'll tell you this. When you channel this method I refer to as the freak genius creativity method, my own method that I use on myself for my own work, when you channel that method into your own deep exploration of yourself and what you want to articulate, it is an esoteric, fascinating, weird journey that I go with you every step of the way. I make sure that I help you and hold you accountable for getting out of your own way in the same way that I hold myself accountable for getting out of my own way. I give you an opportunity not only to do this, but to learn a method that you take with you for the rest of your life. And I'll leave you with this one thing. Saint Therese of Lisieux said this, pick up a pin in the name of God and call your day well spent. Why do I tell you that here? Because when you imbue whatever you are doing on a regular basis, whether it's business, whether it's art, or whether it's just menial tasks on a daily routine, when you imbue those things with your creative, badass, artistry, philosophical standpoint, you invite the muse to use your creativity and to direct brand new, cool ways of looking at things that you never looked at before. You know that you arm yourself with this new way of examining the world that is so liberating, tethering you to something bigger. It's it's a different form of spirituality than what St. Therese was referring to. But man, 
it's this thing that sets you apart because you don't want to just fit in. Human beings categorize people. We are so good at that. And the fact is that I think you're looking to get out of that category and find what cool inner badass only you can articulate. That's the misfits, the crazy, weird, interesting, eccentric people who do things on their own terms and learn how to say what they mean. That's the people that I work with. That's the people who make the big differences. That's the people who move and change the world in fundamentally different ways. I'm not saying it's a simple method. I'm saying it's a journey. And I'm saying it's a fascinating journey. And I am also letting you know that I am so confident of what I do that I will give you a money-back guarantee. I don't want to waste your time. I definitely don't want to waste my time. I'm looking to work on your stuff. Not mine. I'm not going to teach you and make you a clone of me. I am going to help you uncover and unleash the inner you that you know is in there. Are you ready? Or do you want to wait? If you want to wait, why have you been watching this entire video? This particular stuff is something I believe in so deeply. I've researched it, I've passionately invested in it, and I've been teaching it to people for this low these many decades. And the method is one part, and all of this cache of information and resources that I bring with me, I use to investigate, to take a deep examination with you of where you're headed and what can be gained and how you can get out of your own way and find, uncover and discover and tweak and refine and articulate exactly what you want to say the way you want to say it. That's what this is. Freak Genius Creativity Method, brought to you by me. I'm ready for you. Are you ready for you? Click the link. Let me know. Hit me up with any questions. I'm here for you. Look forward to working with you.